EA Sports. It's in the game. Now, from Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, set amongst the azaleas, dogwoods, magnolias, and pines, this is EA Sports coverage of the world of golf. Rich Lerner, so pleased to be joined by Frank Nabilo. And Frank, the setting here at Augusta National, as always, is ideal. You could just sort of sit and watch and soak it all in. But you have to get out there and play. So what are the keys to being successful here? Getting used to the uphill and downhill lies. Uh, and you see that on what is regarded really as the most perfect par five ever created. That's 13. Because if you had a nice tee shot, you're gonna go for that, uh, go for that green and across the tributary of Ray's Creek, then, then you better used to be having the ball above your feet. And of course, then you get to 16 and I'm gonna steal a, uh, a line, you know, from uh, the great Verne Lundquist. Yes, sir. And yes, sir, you know you're playing a beauty. No. Nope. That so nearly a birdie, but par is all he'll have to show for it. Moving on to the 575-yard par-5 second at Augusta National. One of two par-5s on this first nine. Reachable in two for many in the field, but the green is protected by large, deep bunkers. This up the right side off the tee. And this is going to be a good result. It's going to catch that slope a bit and keep getting better here at hole number two. Here we go. Got every bit of that through it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Ah, uh, yes, a great putt there. It's an eagle here at the second to move him to two under par. Down to the short par four third, only 350 yards. I think one of the more underrated holes on this golf course. We know those five pars plus the 12th on that second nine gets so much attention, and rightly so. But this is a wonderful hole, strategic, and you need some touch here. All right, that's going to miss that series of four bunkers, but it runs through the fairway and into the second cut here at the third. Coming off the eagle, this for birdie. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. So he'll tidy that up for his second straight par, but he remains two under through three holes, thanks to that eagle back at number one. Now to the fourth, an excellent par three. This requires a solid, pure strike. You can't fake it on this hole, and you're happy to walk away with three. And that, not gonna get there. It is gonna wind up in that right front bunker here at four. Then I have to try and give this a good thump to fly it to the hole. Nope, that is not much of an improvement. This is going to be equally as tough. Another try to get this up and out. Boy, that needed to hit the flagstick. He nearly went in the hole, but instead, it runs out quite a ways. Nope. That at least was a good putt that could have very well gone in, but he misses by less than a foot. Okay, so this course giveth and did take it away as well. A two under start goes by the wayside. It's a double at number four. 
We move now to hole number five, Magnolia, a par four at a stout 495 yards. Avoiding the two deep bunkers left of the fairway is a must, but a sloped green full of little hollows makes getting an approach to birdie range no small feat. Just 92 yards for his second to this par four. In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that a do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just, oh, that's very poor from that range. Oh, no. Just appeared to be befuddled by the break there. ones can jump up and get you sometimes. Just like that with a bogey goes from level par to one over. We make our way now to the 180 yard par three sixth, second par three on the first nine here at Augusta. Elevated tee looks down on a two tiered undulating green that will absolutely test you. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either, sitting up in the short grass. Ooh, that's got a little bit more movement than you think, and that'll slide on by. Two over for the day. On to hole number seven. It is a par four at an even 450 yards in length. Anything into the pine trees running the length of the fairway can oftentimes lead to a bogey or worse, with the three front bunkers preventing any thoughts of running one up to the green. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, Yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. Hmm, boy, you don't get eagle putts from that distance every day. But that one never got online. Trying to generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. If only they could all be that short. Very well played there. And it results in an easy birdie. We move now to the eighth here at Augusta. This is an uphill 570 yard par five. Avoid the fairway bunker off the tee and reaching into is definitely a possibility. No issues here, that is into the fairway. Well within range from here, a second now to the par five. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Yep, good work not to let that get away, and that's in for a par. We wrap up the first nine with the tough 460-yard par four known for a treacherous three-tiered green that slopes sharply from back to front. Approach shots here that don't have enough carry could also wind up rolling a good 30, 40 yards or so back down the hill. Ah, this is gonna be a beautiful drive down the hill into the big clearing. And it'll set up a good look at this ninth green.
Uh, that's a bit of a head turner really that was a green light situation from that distance and uh, far from the best shot I've seen today Okay, good putt there for his par here at the ninth. Second nine begins with a downhill 495 yard par four featuring a 60 yard long center bunker short of the green. The first hole until 1935, number 10 traditionally plays harder than any other hole here at Augusta National. This starting up the right side. And a bit of a misstep there. That ball's gonna come to rest in the second cut. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. He's in a good spot. 126 yards left to the flag. And that pin, well, it's back left today. This is a 19-foot putt. Slow down. Okay, that'll run about four feet by. Oof. A lot of you out there can relate to that. Okay, so the concentration dips a bit here near the hole. It becomes a three putt. Suddenly, this winds up a double bogey. On now to the second hardest hole in Masters history, the 520 yard par 411. It's been noted that the great Bobby Jones always wanted there to be a wide gap between a good tee shot and a bad one. Thus, in keeping with that spirit, this hole was lengthened 15 yards back in 2022. And in corner officially begins now, his second at hole number 11. I was asking for it to go and it listened. That is a really good shot. Can be. That's in for birdie. Well, nowhere on this golf course are the colors more vibrant than right here. Hole number 12, so easy on the eyes. So much harder is figuring the mysterious winds. The answers lie somewhere near the top of those towering pines that kiss the Georgia sky. Augusta's beguiling beauty. Golden Bell, outstanding strike right there, right off the center of the club face, and a good chance for birdie. Oh boy, that seared the left edge, but it didn't want to go in. Disappointment there. We'll brush it in, and that'll be just a par. This 13th tee box, one of the favorite spots for all the golfers. It's a respite. It's very peaceful back there. Chance to gather your thoughts and then maybe gather some momentum. Turn one over off the tee and then turn on the jets. Maybe make eagle here. Okay, playing this par five a little cautiously, but this beats some of the alternatives. It is safely in the fairway. What a good shot that is. Home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. Now maybe a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. The putter has not been at its best, but this a good look for birdie. Mm, that's a good putt right there. That's a birdie, and it is back to one over now for the round. 
On to the 440-yard par 4 14th, the only hole at Augusta National without a single bunker. The terrace green is the challenge here. This is turning a little to his left. And that a good shot up the hill and into the fairway at 14. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. Mm, not quite enough on that one, but it shouldn't be too much trouble from there. You need to be very delicate on these greens, so all things considered, I think you'll take that. That so nearly a birdie, but par is all he'll have to show for it. We come now to the instantly recognizable hole number 15. It's called Firethorn. Traditionally, it has been the second easiest hole on the course, behind only number 13. But it was lengthened in 2022, with an extra 20 yards added on, making that potential carry over the pond with a second shot that much tougher. A good look down at this 15th green. It's a green light for his second. This one has a chance to be close. Oh, what a shot that is. Beautiful. And that will make for a contented little stroll over that Saracen Bridge. Oh, boy, you're not going to get many better eagle looks than that. But not to be. Well, it's not often you make a birdie and leave shaking your head, but you know, I think you'd like to have that eagle putt back. Par 3 16th here at Augusta National, and so many of the most indelible moments in the history of the sport happen right here at this short par 3. Okay, that one's dancing. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at Birdie. This is a very straight putt, but it will be fast. So you gotta be careful not to run this by if it wanders offline. Mm, that's gonna scoot a foot or two by. Well, coming down the slope, you think it'd carry a little bit more speed, but surprisingly, comes up short. Disappointment there. He'll brush it in, and that'll be just a par. This par 4 17th at 440 yards, one of the most famous in the sport. This is where in 1986, Jack Nicklaus, the age of 46, made the birdie putt. Fern Lundquist on the call. And that will not be the desired outcome. It's into the second cut. That is absolutely fine. This one moving left here for birdie. Yes, nicely done. It's in for birdie, and it's into red figures now at one under par. Well, the difficulty here at the finishing hole, this famous 465-yard par 4 18th, is that you are coming out of a narrow chute off the tee, and it is steeply up the hill. Good drive, though. Puts you in position to maybe make a birdie. Yeah, that one navigated beautifully through that narrow opening, and that is going to work out just fine. So now, up the hill, he is second at 18. Going to have to give this a pretty good thump. Uh, that one kind of took off on him. That'll happen sometimes coming out of the bunker, and that scoots right on by. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, this game's unfair sometimes. That luck didn't the whole way. Okay, so it's a disappointing bogey five here at 18. And that will close out an even par round of 72. 
So for Frank Nabilo and all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.